Are we on? I think we're on. It has been so long, but I'm so happy to be back. There is dust all over this camera. Let me fix that. Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. Hello. It has been ages. I know. I have said so many times over the past year that I'm going to start YouTube back up. Disclaimer, I was gonna start YouTube back up when I went to Ibiza, which was about like two weeks ago. And I had all the best intentions. I did the intro and I was literally, we were driving on the way to the airport and my mind just like clicked. And I was like, I have left my camera and all the batteries and everything charging. I could see it in my head. And I said to Alex, like, when you get in, like send me a photo, is it there? Because otherwise it's in my case. Like, I don't know where it is. And he got home and he was like, yeah, it's here. So it is what it is. It is, um, Nice to be back though. So yeah, I was planning on doing other vlogs and stuff like that, but it just didn't really work out. So because I'm going to Italy in two days time, I thought why not do a pack with me, see what I'm bringing along, and then I'll take you guys with me. And this is going to be a reminder to me to bring along my camera because I can't believe I filmed the intro and everything for the Ibiza vlog and then I just didn't bring my camera. So yeah. I thought this would be a good time to start YouTube back up again because I have a lot of things going on in my life. So, bar Ibiza, which obviously didn't film, but I've got Italy. I'm also going to Greece and Croatia, which will be amazing. I'm so excited. So obviously I'm gonna take you guys with me. And I feel like this time of year is a great time of year to vlog and like show off my life. I guess in winter, like I tend to like hibernate. I don't really do that much. I don't really go on holiday. I don't really go away. It's usually my birthday and then that's kind of it. So I have very like minimal amounts to share with you. Whereas I feel like when it's nice and sunny outside, not that it's sunny today, it's actually really cloudy, but I have like more to share with you if that makes sense. So it makes, makes vlogging a little bit easier for me because I actually have stuff to share with you, which um, I'm actually really excited to share with you. The first thing I'm going to share with you before I start the rest of this video is I finally had my aligners removed, my buttons and everything on the top. My teeth have got a little bit stained from wearing the aligners for so long. I've had Invisalign now for two, two years. I'm still working on my bottoms, but my tops have come off and I've got my fixed um, retainer in there as well. I just need to get the whitening done because of I've had the aligners for so long. And if you guys have any Invisalign questions, you can pop them down below because I've been doing two years of this. It's finally coming to an end. So I might do like a whole video on my experience with Invisalign for the whole two years and kind of like talk through the timeline because I did have Invisalign for a particularly long time purely because I had one tooth here that just, it either needed to be removed completely, which would have left me with like only three teeth in the front or um, take that long. And I much rather take that long than have a tooth removed. So yeah. First things first, suitcase. So. I have been a big fan of the Anther suitcases oh, forever. I use them every time I go into London, every time I travel. They are so, so, so good. This is like a medium one and it has a expander, which is why I'm going to use this one. When, with Ibiza, I actually use the giant one, which is, it would come up to about here on camera. It's huge. It doesn't have an expander. And I honestly only use like three quarters of the space and the weight of the actual suitcase alone was quite a lot. This has some shoes in, so it's a little bit heavy. <laughs> but yeah, the weight of the suitcase alone um, basically took up mm, like too much of my baggage, like allowance, if you know what I mean. So I th feel like I've really messed up. So this time I thought I'd do like a methodical packing, pack this one. If I need to expand, expand it. But it means that I don't have to bring like a massive suitcase that weighs quite a lot because suitcases do, like even though these ones are quite lightweight for like for hard cases, right? But um, yeah, I don't want to pack too much or too little. I just want it to be a nice amount of clothes considering I'm gonna be doing content out there, working out there, etc. Okay, let's pack. Okay, let's talk about the jewelry that I am bringing with me on this lovely trip to Italy. You guys went absolutely crazy for this little necklace that I'm wearing here. When I was in Ibiza, I wore it in all my posts. If you go on Instagram and you have a look at my posts, I'm wearing this little necklace combo. It is absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous, little seven there, and then a gemstone on just a really nice chain. If you remember, this is actually from a collab I did with PD Paola. And I was so excited to say that PD Paola are kindly sponsoring this video. And I'm working with them again to show you some of their new charms. 
and I'm so excited because I literally live in this necklace. I absolutely love it. I get so many compliments on it. I'm also wearing one of their rings. Um, I absolutely love, love, love the brand. So I'm so happy to be working with them again. And I can't wait to show you what's in here. Shall we get into it? Shall we have a look? Okay, so I ended up picking up four more charms um, and basically a whole new charm necklace just because I just think it's so fun in terms of like the personalization, the, the different colors you can choose, you can choose letters, you can choose numbers. There are so many different charms to choose from. Let me just share some on the screen because these are the ones I haven't picked and they are still so, so, so cute. It was so hard to decide which ones to get, which also makes for a perfect gift because you can completely personalize it for yourself or your loved one or whoever you're buying your necklace for. Packaging is also super cute. How adorable. Should we open them up? So let's do one at a time because these charms are really small and I'm gonna do my best to show you them on camera um, super close up. Okay, so this is the first one. I got a little H. I'm gonna try and show you guys as best as I can. It's a little H. It is so cute. How adorable. Try and be a little bit more steady. It's a Diamante H. So, so, so cute. Adorable. Obviously, you can get it in like any letters you want. This is the second one. It's actually one of my favorites. It says lovers and it has this lovely like Diamante jewel framing around it. This also comes in a lot of different like phrases and words and stuff like that. I just really like the lovers one. Kind of gives me Taylor Swift vibes. So I went for this one. Let's see what we have next. Oh, I love this one. It's so cute. They have a few options for heart ones, but I just thought this one would be super, super cute. It's like um, an arrow going through a heart, which is absolutely adorable. They have one that's just like a plain heart as well, but I thought this one would be like super cute. So yeah. This is the last one, and again, it's a style I really, really love. It says, I like you, and it's just this little gold bar. Absolutely adorable. It comes again in a lot of different phrases. There are really some really fun ones as well, and I think that you can really personalize them. I think you could even make like friendship necklaces or friendship bracelets with these charms because you could get them for like your bestie. I just think it's such a nice idea. So this is the charm necklace. It's the same as the one I'm wearing. So shall we do some threading? This is how you thread them on. So you literally put the charm there and you thread it through and you can design your necklace in terms of like where you want everything to sit. So which one should I put on first? I'm gonna go for the heart one first. So you literally just thread it on like this. So you just push the charm down onto the chain and then you can move it to wherever you want it to sit. So I think around there. Next up, I'm going for I like you. It's starting to look really cute. Now we're doing lovers. This is what we've got so far. And finally, we have the H. So there's all of the charms on there. They look absolutely gorgeous. Shall we put her on? I'm wondering if we should layer it with the other charm necklace. I think we should, yeah. I absolutely love this one, so let's layer them up. As you can see here, I've layered them up. So I've got my old PD Paola charm necklace here and my new one with all the new charms up here. And as you can see, you can customize the length of the chain so you can have it set more as a choker or as a longer pendant chain like this. Don't they look so cute? Also, um, just appreciate how easy it is to put those charms on because look at my nails. And I have managed to get those charms on the necklace completely fine. You guys saw me do it on camera. So there we go. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? I'll bring you back in. So stunning and such a perfect gift for yourself or gift for your best friend, your sister, a loved one, just purely because they're totally personalizable. I'll obviously leave links for everything down below, but also if you want to have a look at the other charms, uh, because there are so many and they're all so unique, I'll link them down below and you can get yourself some money off with my code, which I'll put on the screen for you guys, just to get a little money off your shop with PJ Paola, because I honestly think that they are so worth the money. They look absolutely stunning on the amount of compliments I get on my charm necklace is unreal so of this one that I've had for ages so I feel like I'm just gonna get so many compliments on these ones the charms are so unique especially these big ones with the writing on with the um, phrases and stuff I would really love to get a few more of those so I can change them out depending on like how I'm feeling in the day I just think they're so unique and I've never seen anything like it 
on the market before that looks as cute and is so customizable and interchangeable because you can always take charms off and put more on dependent on the look you're going for. Another massive thank you to PD Paola for sponsoring this video. Again, I'll be leaving all the links and discount codes down below for you guys to use. Right, let's talk camera equipment first, purely because like I have a lot of equipment and I know some of you will be really interested in this because it's not just stuff for like my job, it's like fun camera equipment and like camera stuff. So let me show you this stuff first. So first things first is this tripod. I actually bought it for a brand trip I was going on to Cornwall. I didn't actually have this for Ibiza and I wish I did because it is amazing. I will link it down below, it is on Amazon. It is maybe like 20 pounds or something and it is so good. It's technically a selfie stick but it's a tripod. So let me show you, it has this little flip up bit that you flip these out and you like pop your phone in like here. So you can like use it as a selfie stick if you want, but like I use it as a tripod. It has like a pop out Bluetooth here, which is really, really good. So you can use it either on here or you can remove it, which is a really, really good too. And then if I can get it open, it turns into like a full size tripod. Yeah, so it turns into like a full size tripod. So like you can film videos, like that's that's how, do you know what I mean? It can keep going, honestly. I'm five foot two, so, <laughs> but it will keep going. I think it goes to about six foot. So yeah, absolutely love it. And like putting it down is really easy as well. You literally just like put it all in and then it closes. There we go. And it's all back together. And then it's super lightweight as well. So I can literally put this in a handbag and I'm good to go. So yeah, 100% bringing this. Really, really would recommend this. Not just saying that, really would recommend it. Okay, secondly, in my little camera bag is this. It is a clip on light source. I'm gonna try and turn it on without blinding you. Can you see that? And then like you can change it how bright you want it. So you like less bright, more bright, etc. And you can also change like I'm gonna turn it off because it's gonna blind you. But you can also change the color of the light so you can have it warmer or cooler, depending on how you wanna take the pictures. This is so good for clipping on your phone. So when I'm away and I'm doing um, photos, not only from the back, but selfie photos and stuff, and the lighting is really poor, say it's the evening and you wanna get like a nice photo, you literally just clip it on. Not the side of the camera, some people like don't mind that, but I, I do. Um, and basically angle it down like this, and you can take photos. I'll put it on just to show you because I'm not gonna blind you with it this way, I'll blind myself. But yeah, it lights up so much and it's just so good for photos. I absolutely love it. It also makes like videos more high quality in the dark because you can obviously put it this way and film with it on like this. So everything is better quality if you're shooting outfit photos or like just out and about and you want better quality videos and stuff, especially at night. This is a gold set. Again, it's from Amazon. I will link it down below. You just recharge it and it is so light, so handy. It's always in my bag. I've got the usual like portable chargers and camera, camera. Ooh. I've got the usual like portable charger, camera battery charger. I need a bigger portable charger than this, but I just haven't got around to buying one. Um, so this just does for now. I just charge it every night. Film cameras and film. This is the film from my Ibiza trip, so I've yet to get this sent off and processed, but um, I'll show you my cameras here. So like this one, um, I've been, <laughs> have had for about a year and I still haven't finished. I think I've got 13 frames left on it. It is just a, it's just a, uh, what's it called? Uh, disposable camera, there we go. It is a disposable camera. It is from Harman, I think. Yeah, it's from Harman. It is a black and white camera, so it shoots in black and white film. Um, that's what it looks like and I've got 13 frames left on it. I have yet to use all of it. I think it's because it's black and white. I bought, I bought it because I thought it'd be quite cool. But you have to wait for the right conditions to shoot in black and white. So I kind of haven't used it like as much. This one just has um, your standard uh, film in it. It's just standard film and it's 35 mil. This is what it looks like. It's the Olympus Trip AF 51. I would say this is a really good for a beginner like point and shoot film camera. Uh, the only gripe I have with it is like that turns it on, that turns it off. There's no pop-up flash. The flash is built in and it goes off when the camera predicts you need the flash. So even if you don't want the flash, the camera will give you the flash. That's the only gripe I have about it, but it is very lightweight and very small and it costs a far amount less than one with a optional pop in and out flash. Um, so I went with this one just purely because it's a little bit cheaper. I won't mind as much like taking it on boats and stuff. I won't mind as much if something happened to it. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to buy a really expensive film camera and then be really worried about it because I already have to worry about this vlogging camera that was super expensive. So yeah, I also popped on this little charm I have from Etsy um, that I bought 
last year, year before, and that I had on my phone. And now I just think it looks super, super cute as like a little camera arm handle thing. Um, so I took off the one that came with it, which was the Olympus one, and I put this one on. And I think it looks really cute. So cute for summer. I'm so glad I bought it. I'll link it down below. I think we should do accessories. So I'm gonna be bringing two pairs of sunglasses with me to Italy. They're both vintage Chanel. I got them both on Depop. I did look originally on Vestier and Depop, and I managed to find them cheaper personally on Vestia, uh, on Depop, sorry. Not Vestia, Depop. I got them cheaper. So that's what I went with. I did do my research and I made sure that I got legitimate sunglasses. Please do your research. If you are buying vintage designer sunglasses, make sure you are looking for serial codes, signs that they are really vintage, um, that sort of thing, just because obviously sunglasses are quite easy to counterfeit counterfeit um but yeah you just want to be looking for things like the serial number inside the arms um these ones have oh my god they're so dirty these ones have a serial number at the top right hand side you can't see but it's got like chanel there so a lot of these details you'll see if you want to buy um vintage designer you'll see these details especially with sunglasses because they are very very easy to counterfeit but yeah absolutely love them these are both coming with me they're giving like classy italy vibes and I think they'll go with like every outfit, like one's like dainty, one's like more like of a full sunglass, just for like in the day, these are like goggles on me. So yeah, I'm bringing both of these. Next up in accessories is bags. Um, This is a new bag that I'm taking with me. It's Italy, you can see the look on my face, I absolutely love it. Um, it is from Plain Paris and it is the Numero Neuf Mini. So it is absolutely gorgeous. It's Italian calfskin, I believe, full grown calfskin. Um, it is absolutely stunning. They have kindly sent this to me, so just a disclaimer, but um, look at her. Look at her. I'm so excited to wear this with like a really nice luxurious dress. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the dresses I'm bringing, but like a really nice like full satin dress with this, like for the evening. It also has like crossbody straps inside. I honestly haven't worn it yet, but crossbody straps. Um, I'm so excited to take it with me. I've been too scared to wear it before I go because it is, I guess it's not white. It's kind of like a shell kind of color. Um, I'm so scared that I'm gonna mark and dent it before I leave. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna wear this with some really nice evening, evening outfits. Next up is like beachy bags. I have a lot that I could potentially bring with me to Italy, but I feel like I'm probably gonna take the more neutral ones because a lot of these are pink and a lot of my outfits, I feel like lean a little bit more neutral. I did bring all of these with me to Ibiza, which was definitely more like party pink vibes. Whereas this, I feel like I'm gonna try and because it's Italy, even though I do love my like bright accessories and my bright outfits, I'm gonna try and like pair things down. So maybe this one's a nice idea because it's like a muted pink. And then this one, I feel like because you just have, if you're in Italy, you have to get that shot of like, I don't know, groceries in the bag. Do you know what I mean? Like groceries vibe, <laughs> sounds so weird, but it, you know, the Pinterest kind of lemons in your bag style shot, I feel like I'll be getting with this. And then this is also a really nice evening bag. It's from Monkey from last year. I'll link similar down below if I can, but it just like, it works with every outfit. I'm literally wearing denim shorts, but like it works with every outfit. I just think it looks so cute. And every time I've worn this, like without fail, it has worked with an outfit. So I feel like I'm gonna bring these two bags and then maybe like a tote for the beach instead of bringing like an actual beach bag because that beach bag actually took up quite a lot of space in my suitcase um, the last time when I went to Ibiza. So I feel like I'm gonna try and pack smart this time around. I'm gonna bring one belt and this one is from River Island. It's really, really nice. It's a little bit stretchy, but it's like a macrame um, with gold, gold shells. And it fits actually really, really nicely as a waist belt, but also as like, I guess I could wear it like lower as like a low waist belt, like down here. So I have options with it, which is really, really, really nice. So I'm gonna be packing this and it's the only belt I'm bringing. I'm also packing one hat, which is this one, which is from Primark. It actually is so clever, okay? So you can like, and it springs back. <laughs> you know what? I should have got this beforehand because I actually got this one from H&M. Um, which you probably would have seen in my Ibiza post, but like it has completely walked out of shape from being in the suitcase. I'm gonna have to like fill it, I think, with like wet paper towels or something and like readjust it to get it back to how it was. But this one, um, you can literally like fold it up and it just springs back. 
So, like... <laughs> so I would 100% recommend this. Again, it's from Primark, super cheap. It's got like a little sizer inside in case you wanna like, size adjuster inside in case you wanna like make it smaller. And then this is all decorative outside. It's got little, like little shells and stuff, really, really cute. Um, and yeah, it just like brings back. So yeah, would highly, highly recommend. So I'm gonna bring one beach towel. We didn't in Ibiza because the hotel was providing towels for us and we weren't planning on going to the beach. We were just kind of staying and having a pool holiday. We are gonna go to the beach on this trip. So I've got two choices. These are both the Jurif Avenue um, <laughs> towels from last year that they launched in two of the different colors. One's got like berries on it and one's got this like tropical print. Um, it used to be yellow. I don't know if you can see, it used to be yellow and then I put it in the wash and the colors ran and now it's green. I did complain on their customer service and they basically told me like tough. <laughs> they were like tough, sorry about it. I was like, well I did spend eight pound on a towel. I don't expect the colors to run, but um, yeah, they. <laughs> now I have a slightly green towel. So I think that I'm gonna bring this one just because I feel like it's giving more Italy vibes and yeah, I'm kind of not vibing with it being that sort of green color. I still think it looks good on camera, but in person, it's definitely gone from like a lemon yellow to like a lime green, and it's just not as cute. I've also got these Jeff Avenue headbands that I completely forgot that I had that I'm gonna bring to take my hair out of my face when I'm at the beach and stuff like that. They're really good. They're like this sort of like toweling material. They're very stretchy and super comfortable, which means they don't give you a headache. And I like the patterns. So I feel like I'm gonna bring them just for if I'm throwing my hair up like this and then I don't want to get like sweat in my eyes or something if it's like super hot because South Italy can be super hot. I don't think it's that hot now, but still, um, I'm gonna bring them just in case. I'm gonna try and only bring maybe like three pairs of shoes for this whole trip. So the first pair of shoes I'm gonna bring, don't judge me because I was just wearing them in Cornwall and it was very sandy, but my Birkenstocks, they're just plain black Birkenstocks with a little back strap so they like stay on so you can like literally run in them. They're so comfortable. Um, yeah, I definitely need to give them a clean though because we were on the beach in Cornwall and they are covered in sand. Like this whole bag is like full of sand. So um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna bring these because they're so comfortable and you can wear them anywhere. They also work with day and um, evening outfits. They're like the perfect holiday sandal and I want them in white. So I am kind of like toying with the idea of getting them in white because I, I do wear them so much. I haven't decided fully on any of the other shoes as of yet, but I think I'm gonna bring these little lemon yellow um, Zara mules. They are looking a little worse for wear because I wore them so much last summer, but that's always a sign of a well-worn, comfortable shoe, especially if they've got a heel. So I feel like they're gonna go with so many of my outfits just because I do like a little color pop. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pack these and then maybe one more pair of like semi mid heels and then my sandals. I feel like that's all I'm gonna pack, but we're gonna see if I can squeeze maybe a, another pair of sandals in my suitcase. But as far as I'm aware, this is what I've decided on so far. Okay, I've decided to take a pause there just because I'm desperate for a coffee. So yeah, I'm gonna make a coffee. Please ignore all the I feel like that's not that messy. Yeah, it's not that messy. Yeah, I'm so excited for our trip to Italy. I am so happy to be back in Italy. Italy is one of my favorite countries in the entire world. The, the, the food, the coffee, the sea, the countryside. I've been to the north of Italy. Um, I've kind of been to the middle of Italy. I've never been to the south of Italy. This is the first time I'm going and I've seen so many photos and I'm so excited to see what it's actually like. And I'm going with the, with a real Italian. So um, I'm so excited to see a side of Italy that is very authentic and unique. And oh, I'm just so excited for the food and Italian coffee and Italian gelato, which I think is its own like subcategory of food. I am beyond buzzing to go. I wanna be there now. Okay, let me make a coffee and then we'll get back to packing. One of the things that's a little bit of a struggle, um, especially when, when you're like packing to do content and like for work and stuff, is making sure that you have like enough clothes for like every day and for just general like going about the place and not just like taking photos of really cute outfits. It's like finding that balance of both. So I'm gonna try and do it this time, I feel like in Ibiza, I like had so many outfits. I was kind of like, oh my God, what do I do? I think I brought too much. So I'm trying to like edit what I'm bringing and just bring like slightly less than I think I need. Where is my mug? So hopefully I'll have the right amount of clothes this time and it won't be like too much because 
obviously it's a lot to carry as well so I'm trying to uh, make sure that I can carry it onto the coach to get to the airport and like all of that because I'm not being dropped off this time so I feel like it's just that little bit more stressful to like get to the airport with like a massive suitcase. Coffee has been secured we can now resume and I'm determined to have this bag packed by the end of the day today so let's do it. Okay now I have my coffee I feel like we should do swimwear. Okay so I'm taking two full swimsuits to Italy just because it is a little bit easier for me as a fuller busted gal to swim properly in a swimsuit I just have to admit it if I'm on holiday I'm kind of like not committing to like swimming if I'm literally just like sunbathing doing a little bit of swimming like very light breaststroke um everything's fine but if I'm like swimming um <laughs> I do find that it's it's a little bit uh here. So what I'm gonna do is pack two full swimsuits. This one is from River Island. It's that lovely crinkly material, very Hunza G, if you know what I mean. But the colour is so pretty. Like, you know what I mean? Like the colour is so gorgeous. It's a cornflower blue. I got the size 10 and yeah, it's got this lovely little padding here and I feel like it's just gonna look so good even with like a pair of shorts and a shirt on top. That's probably how I'm gonna style it. Next up, I have this full body one from Tulla which is a multi-way um, style full body swimsuit. If you wanna see how I'm gonna style this, try to follow my Instagram because I'm gonna do probably a whole post on how to style this because there are so many different ways that you can wear it. It is in this lovely like sage, sagey green. But yeah, I feel like it's just gonna look so sweet for Italy. This color is like perfect for like Italian summer vibes. So I'm really excited to wear it and style it in a variety of different ways. It also comes, I think, in black, and then the rest of the Tala swimwear comes in black, this kind of lovely green color, and then a purple as well, so that's really cute. I also have this set from Tala, which I'm really, really excited about. So, let me show you it. It comes with these crossover waist bottoms, which are the most flattering thing. They look so, so, so cute. Really excited to wear these. The top is a multi-way, so it's got these little long, I guess these long straps that you can just tie up above your head. You can make them into all sorts of like bandeau, the way you style them, you can make it into like put this above your head and then tie that around so you can have it in that way. So it's like a multi-ways to wear at top, which I absolutely love because you can create so many different styles. And then I have this swim skirt, which is just a little cover up for the beach, but it's in like swim material. So you could swim in it, you could walk, walk in the pool in it, whatever, in case you just want a little cover up. Um, I am predicted to be on my period on this trip. So um, <laughs> yeah, this might come in handy if I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable and a little bit bloated. So we will see, but yeah, it's just a really nice way of just covering up, but also being able to like go in the pool in the cover up. So it's not gonna get like soaking wet um, and feel weird. It's like swimsuit material, which is really nice. I also have some Kulani Kinis bikinis because I never go on holiday without a Kulani Kinis bikini. The team over at Kalani Kini send me so many different bikinis to feature for you guys and I honestly have to say they're one of my favourite places to get bikinis ever. They're so flattering, they're so cute. Look at this one with the purple and the flowers, so 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 cute. And then I've got this one which I've put in here because it comes with like a matching sarong. So like it's this unravel it it's this lovely purple color but i feel like you could totally flip it the other way and wear it this way um i guess they've put like branding on the back so it, i guess it doesn't really matter but you can have it either way but it's this really really pretty purple color and it also comes with a matching sarong like i said so i'm really really excited to wear that one it's gonna look so dainty on the beach and i love the color purple for summer you know i am one of those girls i'm a lilac pastel pink pastel blue girl. Lastly in swimwear I have this stunning little bikini like set I guess from River Island. It is in this neon pink with little flowers and a little flower at the top and then the bottoms so cute as well. Look at these little flowers on the bottoms as well. This also comes in um white but I do have a really really similar bikini from Form and Fold which is almost the same, it just doesn't have the flowers on, but it's a very, very similar fit. So I wanted to get something a little different, and I just feel like 
Um, this is definitely a look at me bikini. It is absolutely that. And I love that because I'm trying to be more like, I guess like body neutral and just wearing things that I just think are like, just, just cute, like just cute outfits. And I feel like I would wear this and just think this bikini is just cute. So yeah, I'm really, really into it. I'm so excited to wear it. Let's talk day outfits and cover ups. The first one I have is from New Look and it is so cute. It's this little like sheared, short and then the matching i think it's called cheesecloth okay um, but it's this matching at the top as well which is super super cute so it's a matching shirt and shorts and i just think any of those bikinis with like this on top is gonna look cute um it is quite see-through because it's like just a cover-up but i feel like it's perfect for like going down to the pool going down to the beach and just having a little bit of something to like cover you up as you're going or maybe for like breakfast if you're going for breakfast at a hotel or something this is a really cute set i have the perfect linen dress from river island that is ideal for like walking around in the day in the midday heat because we all know how hot that can really feel i made the mistake in greece last year of wearing something that really really wasn't okay to be wearing in the midday heat i wore like thick crochet and by the middle of the day i was like i was sweltering hot luckily we had a car we went back to the car and i changed into something more appropriate but honestly it was a few hours of regret like instant regret so this is the perfect linen dress for this weather um for that kind of weather i mean it is just so cute so it's just got this little ruching at the back it's like a bandeau but it also comes with straps that i haven't put on i haven't tried on yet but it comes with straps i actually like it as a bandeau it has this like little rubbery thing to like hold up and then it has a slit at the back so when you walk you've got air flowing through so honestly i think i'm gonna live in this um probably in italy and croatia and greece i feel like this dress will be coming with me everywhere and also it is the cutest color green wait for it like this color combo you know you're getting like pistachio and like raspberry ice cream vibes love it love it i thought i'd show you this which is also from river island that i would probably wear on top of the linen dress um later on in the day or earlier in the day when it's a bit cooler but it is just a lo lovely little crochet um cardigan and it has these lovely little buttons as well they're like wood again from river island and i think just layered over is going to look so so nice in the day and just to take this up and like put it in your bag like a beach bag it doesn't take up that much room as well so i feel like it's going to be a really nice cover up i also got a really really good um charity shop purchase actually so i was in there and i saw this dress that was from zara a few years ago that i couldn't get in my size i could only get in a size too small and it just didn't fit my chest properly so and then it sold out so when i saw this in the charity shop i was like uh absolutely it is a midi dress it has a cowl back it is so pretty on and on the label it said um like broken needs fixing and what the person didn't realize is that you just had to thread the straps through these little hole these little little holes here like the person who was doing it at the charity shop didn't realize that it had the that they need the straps need to be threaded through um so i managed to get it for like an absolute bargain and i can't wait to wear it in italy in the day i think it's just gonna look so cute with just my pair of birkenstocks and maybe like the crochet cardigan over the top it goes with like the color palette that i like as well and I feel like I'm gonna feel really cute in this one too. I haven't completely figured out evening outfits yet, but I thought I'd go through a few options with you guys. So I've got this one from Mesh Key, which is just stunning. It's got that lovely like corsage moment that we're all really very much enjoying. And maybe one of the girls will let me borrow their corsage, corsage necklaces because I don't have one in white, but how cute with this and a pair of heels, like even the little lemon heels, I feel like it would just be a really nice pop of color and then like a little basket bag. It's gonna look so sweet. Absolutely love it. I don't know whether to bring it or not because it is quite short and it's quite thick. So I'm kind of mid on this one. I guess when I think of Italy, I do think of like lemons, like lemon yellow. So I thought I'd pick this one up from New Look, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a high neck. It is frills to the ground and it also has a gorgeous like underlay. Um, how can I describe it? Like ruffles, like you can see here where the slit is. It's got like an underlay underneath and then all of this is like ruffles on top. It looks like it'll be quite lightweight as well. And for the evenings, like you can wear something a little bit more covered because it's not as hot, but I absolutely love this. I feel like I'm definitely going to take this one. This is one that isn't a question. It's a definite. 
um, with the lemon yellow matching heels. I actually have a variety of satin dresses that could potentially be coming with me in an array of colors. So this one's from Tala, this one's from Princess Polly. Oh, this one's inside out. It's probably why you can't see the color properly, but essentially it's like that color orange, I guess. So there's that, um, there's this one that's from Revolve and then this one which is also from Revolve. So I'm gonna have to pick maybe two. So I'm sort of thinking maybe because we're doing like green and pinks a lot, the pistachio and the pink would actually work really well together. And then maybe I can bring these to like Croatia and Greece. So I'm thinking maybe just these two. Yeah, let's go with it, I'm doing these. And then I have a little bit of a wild card because I don't wear red. I'm not one of those girls that wears red. I feel like it's it's an uncomfortable color for me. It's very bright and it doesn't always suit me. It can wash me out a lot. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I absolutely adore it. It's from River Island. I love it. It may wash me out. Who knows? Is it? Is it washing me out? Is this red washing me out? I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but I, ha I had to. It is so stunning. It's got this ruffle little arm moment and then the rest of it is ruffles the way down. So it is very bright. <laughs> it's coming up way brighter on camera. It may or may not be washing me out, but I will wear it because I just feel like I need to have my like Italian moment in this dress. I feel like it's gonna look so cute. It's literally the color of spaghetti. So that is what we're going with. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really excited to wear it. I don't know what shoes I'd probably wear with this. Probably the Birkenstocks because I don't think I could wear lemon yellow with this color, but I will figure it out in order to wear this dress. Okay, so that is everything I am planning on bringing with me to Italy in terms of kind of clothes, accessories, and then like kind of the cameras and stuff. So like random accessories, that sort of thing that I'm bringing with me. I'm gonna do another video on like summer hair and beauty, holiday hair and beauty, which is stuff I'm gonna bring from like hair, beauty, skincare. Does that cover everything? And like travel essentials? Is that a fourth one? Travel essentials? But yeah, I'm planning on doing a video about that as well. So hopefully I can sit down and film that for you guys before I head off. And this is a reminder to future me to take this camera with you, put it in your bag and like watch it <laughs> as you leave your apartment. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me girlies in the, my first video back in a long time. It has been actually really, really nice to get back on camera. I have missed it so much. And I'm excited to hopefully um, be bringing you guys with me more and doing more because it is now summer. I've got a lot of things planned for literally all the months, June, July, August, September, October. I've, I've, I've already got stuff going on. So I'm very excited to take you with me. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content from me. And I will see you lovely lot in the next one. Bye.